Hello, everybody, and welcome to North Metro TV's untitled, socially distant game show. I'm your host, Eric. Joining me for the fourth time in a row, we have North Metro TV news producer, Rusty Ray. Two-time winner of the showdown right here. And North Metro TV news director, disappearing into a sea of fish, Danica Peterson. That's right. Happy to be here. Thanks for having me. How how is the news, guys? Pretty good. Pretty good. Trying trying to keep up with everything, but you know, it's just good. just getting a confirmation email here. Let's yeah. Let's try to schedule in the future. Rusty, it's a problem. Oh, that looks good. All right, that looks good. Big things are big things are happening in the news department. We're not going to say any more than that. Wow, rare behind the scenes look. Keep your eyes stuck to North Metro TV News for a story that's probably coming soon. Don't touch that dial. Or, that Actually, you're going to have to ch touch that dial. We are on different channels. Oh. Right. Yeah, we're on different North Metro TV <laughs> sub channels. Okay. So do change the channel as soon but, as this is done. But after, after watching the game show. 10.30, Please. And hey, we're starting the game show today with the list game. Our players are going to get a list. Or, well, they have to guess the items on a list, a top 10 list. And they're going to get a point for each item that they're able to guess. Uh, they get three strikes. And today they're going to try and guess the top 10 most popular dog breeds in America. This is from a list published in 2019 by the American Kennel Club. So, Rusty, uh, let's see, I believe you both have, Rusty has two wins in the history of this show. Danica just won, so Danica's going to get to go first and guess, what do you think one of the most popular dog breeds in America is Danica Peterson? The Labrador Retriever. Number one answer. Excellent. Labrador Retriever. Well, yes. Now, you do not have a Labrador Retriever. I do not have a dog. I have a very sassy tree. There you go. Is a dog in the offing? What? Are you planning on getting a dog? Isn't that a uh, The child wants a dog very badly. Uh -huh. and I do not want a dog because then it's not like I'm going on any vacations right now, but it's a little extra work. Sure, because sure. And just stay home alone for the weekend and then just wake me up 17 times and then we get home. There you go. Their feelings. There you go. Now, somebody who does have a dog is Rusty. Mm -hmm. How's your dog doing? Uh, he's okay. He's okay. <laughs> he's okay. Is, is, the, the, the dog is doesn't... doing okay, or is that your opinion of your oh, dog? Oh, yeah, he's got a great life, and we're happy to have him as a, as a, we rescued him or whatever. We got him from a rescue last year, and I, we're glad to have him as a member of our family. The words I would generally use to describe him, I don't think you want me using on, on this program, so I won't. Wow, so I won't. wow. He's a sweet dog, he really is. Sure, oh, this is, but you're just friends. At this point, yes. Okay, what do you think one of the most popular dog breeds in America is? Now you said 2019? Yes, yes, I, I, I would be willing to bet that there was not a lot of movement of the list in 2020, that's, well, no, that's no, a guess. No. That's but a guess. I, I, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go way out there because I, I'm thinking oh. by then these these designer dogs have already made their way into the top ten. Something like a Labradoodle. A Labradoodle. Mm -hmm. That is strike one. Okay. Strike one. Now I do not know a lot about dogs, but I don't know if a Labradoodle is actually like what they would consider a breed. Okay, well, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, don't know. I am not John O'Hurley. Danica, give me a dog breed. Beagle. The Beagle, the number seven answer. Danica pulling out to a swift and commanding lead. Rusty, what can you come back? Do you do you have a dog? I mean, you have a dog, but in in mind. <laughs> uh, uh, but I want to keep a dog in this fight. I'm going to go with German Shepherd. German Shepherd is the number two answer. Right. Very nicely done. Very nicely. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, a German Shepherd has just taken up residence 
in the White House. Champ. There you go. Major. I, 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 ooh, I, are they not? Are they both German shepherds? I don't know. I don't remember. I don't, don't know. know. That's hey, tell me about it. <laughs> Danica. Um, dog I will meat. Say colloquially, the pit bull, also known as the American Staffordshire Terrier. I am sorry. That is a strike. What are you talking about? I, hey, I, I would show you the list, but then I realized that would give away the rest of the. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I am sorry. The pit bull. Hey, it, maybe it's number 11. I don't know. I just know that the pit bull is not in the top 10. I'm going to go so far as to say the pit bull is more popular than pit bull. Mr. Worldwide, you may. <laughs> I would not be shocked if you get an email about this tomorrow. This is very upsetting. In my humble opinion. If wow. I have one in my house. Wow. A hot take. A hot take. Rusty. What uh, what what pop star would you like to offend with your next <laughs> guest? Uh, I wanna I wanna guess Corgi. Corgi number ten. All right. Very British. Specifically the Pembroke Welsh Corgi. The Pembroke Welsh Corgi. Certainly very popular with the Queen of England. That's right. Yeah, she's had generations of them, right? Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Danica, it's your turn. Top 10 dog breeds in America. Chihuahua. The Chihuahua is strike two. Come on. What? Who's buying these strike dogs? Americans. My neighbor has a cool dog. Yeah, is it yeah. Spud McKenzie? Oh. No, it's it's an Australian sheepdog. Okay. And she has all the energy. Does Not it? A common dog though. Does it? Well, uh, now that's not the kind of dog the Obamas have. That's some sort no, of like a water dog. That was a Portuguese right. water dog named Bo. Okay. Right, 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 right. Mm -hmm. I have heard the of the Australian sheepdog though. Mm -hmm. So Very good to know. Mm -hmm. Rusty. You got Yorkshire, one strike. Yorkshire Terrier. The Yorkshire Terrier. Not on the list. That is strike two. What about Worcestershire Terrier? Is that on there? Well, you can try that when it's your turn, I guess. Okay. The okay, Worcester. Worcester. Yes, so Danica. You each get three strikes or three strikes total? So you have two strikes. You get one more strike, and then you're out of the game. Rusty also has two strikes, and you also got two of them correct. So it's two, two, and two for you two. I see. I'm going to say Golden Retriever. Golden Retriever Golden Retriever's the number three answer. Very exciting. Now, Danica, I, I know that you have a dual monitor situation. And you are suspiciously looking to your left. I was just going to find a picture of a golden retriever and put it up behind me to celebrate my victory. I okay. I didn't see anything, but I was going to call into question those activity as well. No problem. Rusty, Danica just took a lead. Can you can you tie her back up with your, your dog pick? Well, that is decidedly... <laughs> <Not> a... <laughs> That's the talented Mr. Ripley here. Uh, my pick is going to be. I'm going to. I'm going to stick to to what I I know well, and that's Dachshund. The Dachshund, Rusty. You just struck out, my friend. Just oh, struck out, Danica. You can try and run the board here. We have uh, what? One, two, three, four, five more dogs available. You if you can keep guessing until you get a strike. Okay. Let's see. What other dogs do people like? What about like how what's that like one <laughs> the ears and the tail, that one? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cold nose. How about, how about the pincher? The pincher. Well, you just threw it away. That's your third strike. <laughs> that means at the end of the round, Danica has three points. Rusty has two. Let's let's find out about the rest of these dogs, shall we? Let's do it. Number nine, the German pointer. That's what I meant. Number eight, 
the Rottweiler. Wow. Rottweiler. Danica guest beetle at number seven. Number six, guys, the poodle. Yeah, the poodle. What about the poodle? Number five, bulldog. I was going to go bulldog next. That was my next one. Number four, the French bulldog. They're not, they're the same thing. Uh, they're not. Not at all the same thing. No one calls them freedom fries anymore. Well, we're not calling this a freedom bulldog either. <laughs> so again, at the end of the round, Danica has three, Rusty has two. As we move into our next round, still alive. Yeah. Yes, this is a game where you are going to, I'm going to give you the name of a famous person. You're going to tell me if they're alive or if they're dead. Is really going to go great. I love it. Danica and Rusty, uh, you're going to be playing simultaneously. They have cards that say alive and dead on them. Oh, Dan yep, you might need to disable your background for this round. So I just want to know if these people are alive or if they're dead. And let's start with Frank Langella. Is Frank Langella alive or dead? You both guess alive. Frank Langella is alive. He is 83 years old. Richard Nixon. 83. Skeletor. Skeletor. Right. What know. about the Queen Mother? Is the Queen Mother alive or dead? Yeah. Do you both say dead? You are both right. The Queen Mother left us in 2002. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Is that actually the Queen's mother? Yes. Okay. Whose name was also Elizabeth. So I think they were like, uh, we better call her something different. Elizabeth the first. No. No. Different Elizabeth. Yeah, no. Elizabeth the first and a half. Hey, gang, what about Estelle Getty? Is Estelle Getty still alive? They both think dead? She is dead. Estelle Getty died in 2008. Sophia on the Golden Girls. That's right. I know someone who would know that. You sure do. Mm -hmm. You sure do. And if he's watching, I hope he got that right. Yeah. Yeah. He's watching. What about Henry Kissinger? Is Henry Kissinger still alive? Ooh, split decision. Rusty thinks he's alive. Danica thinks he's dead. Henry Kissinger is still alive. Wow. He is 97 years old. I was going to say that guy was old when I saw him like 12 years ago. That's right. He, That's he right. Old when he was Come on. Now, this is your last one. Alive or dead? Dabney Coleman. It's Dabney. Oh, no. Character actor Dabney Coleman. He's big in the Danica says dead. Rusty says alive. Dabney Coleman. Still alive. He is 89 oh. years. Show me a picture. Old. Just screen he, was, he was the boss in nine to five, right? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Rat poison. He's the uh, he's the Broadway producer in the Muppets Take Manhattan. Also in Tootsie, yeah, good good stuff. Mm -hmm. Rusty, you got a perfect score that round, five points. Danica, you got three. That means Rusty has seven points. Danica has six points. Very tight, close an exciting game as we get ready for everyone's favorite round this is the office scavenger hunt oh, you give Our, us more than 15 what did you give us last time 15 i gave you 15 seconds, seconds. And you're getting 15 seconds again this time oh, oh, you you get seconds? first off that was plenty of time last time 30 seconds was too much you're right. getting 15. Oh. um point here's, of order Go oh, highly unusual, but the chair will recognize. 
I would like to make a motion to amend the rules. Is there a second? Uh, second. That I don't care. The motion fails. <laughs> you have 15 seconds to find these items in your relatively small offices. Take it easy. Take it easy. Here's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a pair of pants. You can't be wearing them. I'm looking for I'm looking for gum. I'm looking for a dime. I'm looking for a, a dinosaur. Anything dinosaur related, a dinosaur. And I am looking for a condiment packet. You have 15 seconds. Your time starts now. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Time is up. All right. Were either of you able to come up with? You're done, Rusty. You're done. You're done. Puzzled about dinosaurs. Rusty, anybody? Anybody got me a pair of pants? No pants. What about gum? Did either of you come up with any gum? No gum. Even though our boss gives us gum every Christmas. I don't get gum. You don't get gum? Oh, oh, I get gum. I don't get gum. Uh oh. <laughs> Maybe she thinks your breath stinks, man. Uh, where do you get your gum? Your I might be breath? mistaken, but there is a stick of gum on my desk that I thought came from the boss. What about a dime? Do either of you have a dime? Hey, that's two dimes. How about a dinosaur? Oh, there you go. Oh, Really well cool. done. How about a condiment packet? Nobody with a condiment packet. Oh, it's a tough one. It's a tough one. Danica, two points. Rusty, one point. That means Danica has eight points. Rusty has eight points. This is a tie game. This is very exciting. This final round is going to decide it all unless they both completely biff it, which is entirely possible. As it is now time for the guessing game round of the show, as our contestants are going to try to guess what's in the box. I cannot stand this. There's an item in this box. You guys can ask yes or no questions to determine what is in the box. You get to keep answer, asking questions until you get a no. 12 points are possible at the start of this round. The amount of points possible will go down with every no answer. Now, because the game is tied, I'm going to allow Rusty to go first, as Danica got to go first at the beginning of the show. Rusty, I'm looking for yes or no questions to help you determine what is in this box. This side is up. Is it something you can wear? Is it something that you can wear? No, you wouldn't, no. One down, 11 to go, Danica. Is it an office supply? It is certainly not a traditional office supply. Two down, 10 to go, Rusty. Is it a uh, cleaning product? It is not. A cleaning product. Three down, nine to go, Danica. Is it alive? It is it alive? Yeah. It is not alive. Like I have a plan. Oh, right, fair plan. enough. Fair <laughs> enough. Four down, eight to go. There have been no yes answers. Thus far, Rusty. Is it for serving or eating from? Is that what it's intended for? No. 
Five down, seven to go. And of course, the viewers at home, they already know on their screen what it is. So they're they're looking at you like you're a couple of well news producers. Is it does it make sound? I mean it it it, it can make a sound. Like in the same way this paper makes sound? Yes. Oh, you have to keep going. Yeah, you get to keep going. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> let's see. Unprepared for that. Is it related to personal hygiene? No, it is not related to personal. Well, no. Six down, six to go. Rusty. Is it made out of a recyclable material? I believe so. Do you know what's in the box? <laughs> yes. I put it there. Okay, I know so what's in it. Okay. I, I believe it is recyclable. Is it something that is normally stored in our office building? Yeah. Yeah, you would normally find this in our office building, yes. Are they paper towels? They are not paper towels. Recycled paper towels. And also those are a cleaning product and related to hygiene. I mean, if we're going to criticize the contestants, <laughs> Danica, five to go. Yeah, okay. Is it an electronic device? It is not an electronic device. Rusty, four to go. Remember that it makes a noise in the fashion of the piece of paper that Danica was messing around with. It is something that we have in the office. It is not a cleaning supply. It is not related to hygiene. It is not a traditional office supply. It is Rusty's turn. <laughs> uh, 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 is it something that is used every day in this office? In the best of times, it is, it is at least potentially a thing that is used every day. I'm going to give you a qualified yes. Right now, is it a thing that we use every day? Absolutely not. Saturdays. What, what just happened? I'm not even sure what just happened. <laughs> no one uses it on Saturdays. Okay. A, the rest of this question is patently false. A, it's still my turn. <laughs> is it? I'm B, that wasn't even a question. <laughs> I'm suggesting that the answer to is it used every day? Uh, clearly cool. no. Uh, I'm, I'm listen. I'm being lenient. I'm being lenient because you guys, for some reason, can't figure out what's in a box. Well, a we can't even see the entire box. First of all, that's part of the problem here, and I didn't know how to ask that without you penalizing. But we can't see how big this box is. It's right. It's that big. Look at it. So I'm I'm figuring this is something that probably is used when we're not experiencing a global deathly pandemic, and we're allowed to socialize and eat lunch together and things like that. Yes. Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't. I can't even remember what would, we have already had. So. I mean, I you can pass yeah. if you would like to pass. Pass, Danica. There's there's still four to go. Is it monochromatic? Yes. At least more or less. Okay. <laughs> Is it? 
Okay, so it's not electronic. It doesn't no. have anything to do with food. You no. don't wear it. It's not an office supply. It has nothing to do with hygiene. So I wouldn't use it in the kitchen or in the bathroom or in the studio. Are these questions that you're asking or are you just reasoning? Okay. All right. Hey, I, hey. And food items. That would, that would take care of kitchen and bathroom. Everything in the studio is electronic. Effectively. Everything. So. <laughs> um, so what else do we maybe use every day? Folks at home, if you ever want to be a contestant on this show, please reach out to me. We'd love to have you and know that I will not make fun of you. You will. Um, I'm going to guess. Is it a tripod bag? Is it a tripod bag? No. More or less monochromatic. It's not in Three to go. It fits the qualifications. Does it make a noise like that piece of paper? Yeah, yeah maybe. Yeah, it doesn't everything? <laughs> I mean, coins? That doesn't sound like the piece of paper to me. I thought you just meant in the same vein as the piece of paper. Not like hey. the same noise as the piece of paper. Mm -hmm. like Rusty. Noise, like Three, two, go. Can you lift the box with one hand? Yes, I can. Television. <laughs> uh, is it a bag of candy? No, it is not a bag of candy. Two to go, Danica. As we as we race toward an anticlimax, that will almost certainly be a tie. Uh, I'm winning by one point right now, aren't I? I believe you're tied. Come on. Okay. what could it be you can't i mean you maybe want to just keep asking questions about it as opposed to trying to nail it down is it smaller than my water bottle yes is it larger than a key yes Is it made of metal? No. There's just one to go, Rusty. For the win. You can keep asking questions as long as you get yeses on this sucker. I suppose you can pass if you want, although that might be silly at this juncture. Is it made of plastic? It is not made out of plastic. I, had, I, I tried. I thought I gave you guys something easier today. You had done so well with the what's my job <laughs> and the celebrity. So let's find out what's in the box. It is. Are you ready for this? I'm so excited. It's $5. How would that be used in our office every day? I do the best of times. People are coming in buying stuff. With $5. Cash? We're buying pizza. We're moving money. With cash? Yeah. We That's sell pizza? Cycle. As as a person who sells blank DVDs almost daily, you betcha. You betcha. I'm pretty sure money isn't recyclable. I'm, I'm, I'm officially disappointed. And if one of you had gotten it, you would have won yourself five dollars. Oh, now I'm really sick. You can't give up prizes <laughs> on public access television. Hey, I didn't have to worry about that. Apparently, it pays to win the untitled game show. <laughs> Not normally. <laughs> but hey, as a consolation prize, you both get to take home your dimes. You both get to keep those. Thank you. Yeah, I want to. I didn't lose at least. You, yeah, that is true. You both did not lose. <laughs> you also didn't win. So there you go. Uh, Danica has won once. Rusty has won twice. And now you have tied. <laughs> Two, one, and one. <laughs> what a show. What a show. Folks, if you would like to be a contestant, 
a North Metro TV's untitled socially distant game show, email me at eric at northmetrotv.com. We would love to have different contestants on this show once in a while. Yeah, we sure would. And maybe, I don't know, maybe you people at home are capable of guessing what's in a box. We'll find out next time. The $5 bill. Good night.